Hey YouTube, so I want to make a video talking about hormone treatment management basically or tips on how to how to manage your your doses, manage your drugs, when to change them and then if you have a doctor how that changes that dynamic uh, having this conversation with them because if you're doing this yourself then you need to be aware of these things and you need to be educating yourself on some of these different uh, points that I'll bring up, but at the same time, you're still the one ultimately making the decision for you, and so that's a little bit easier to do, you know, to some extent, uh, if you don't have a doctor. And so then the question is, well, how do you make a decision for yourself, or how does your doctor make your decision? And to be honest, like, there's not a lot of data out there about trans treatment, trans protocols, so... So yes, they have targets in terms of kind of what ranges they want specific levels to get into, but they're not, they don't have kind of an algorithm to determine, well, you take X amount of Y drug in order to get there. Levels are kind of a snapshot of where you are at any one point, kind of in your, horm your hormone cycle. So how close was it to your last dose, whether or not you're on shots or... Um, oral and that's gonna that's gonna influence that to some extent um, if you're looking at things like overall timing like yes you want to give your body enough time to adjust so that you can get an ac accurate level snapshot but at the same time like how much time is too much where you're saying if you're gonna try a certain number of doses you kinda of wanna get to your final state sooner rather than later rather than spend like several years experimenting um, but then the other you have to give it some time and then how do you measure what is being a actual change because of just a dose changing so or a drug changing there's so many kind of pieces out there to consider that you really just kind of have to build together a model of what you want to use but you need to steer the conversation. So really, for example, um, yesterday I saw my doctor for the first time in three months and for the first time since switching to injections. And this is the new doctor I started seeing here in Dallas, um, who I don't have any history with, uh, being able to manage my care, see what the different doses do to my levels, and kind of adjust. And so I was used to steering a lot of that conversation. And so walking into the room, you know, I basically told her that I didn't think that the injections were working out for me. Um, I don't know what the levels are going to say, but it sounds like it kind of makes sense to go back anyway. Because some of the side effects I was getting were side effects that I wanted to avoid. Um, such as erections, frequent erections, like some stuff with ejaculate. Like, I'm not going to share TMI. But, you know, like those alone were a big enough issue. And then there are some other things where maybe body hair or facial hair regrowth, thickness, things like that were being influenced. Um, it's really hard to say because I don't know how much of any effects I've been experiencing are a result of weather changes, diet changes, um, exercise changes, because I've lost like 10 pounds over the last six weeks too, and so maybe two months. Um, <laughs> but anyway, like the point is that it's really hard to say, okay, well, what what is changing because of what? And so overall, if I look at that three-month snapshot rather than the specific levels themselves, and I compare that against the 12 months of history I had with the 8 milligrams of oral, well, maybe the oral itself didn't seem like it was giving me the results I wanted towards the end. I mean, maybe there were other factors at play then that stopped it, or maybe now that I'm in better shape, It'll work better, maybe just the shock of switching every three months after you've hit a certain point in your hormone treatment timeline. Like, maybe that helps. So, like, there's a lot to experiment with, and it's just kind of prioritizing. And I think in the beginning, it's definitely about getting some of that physical development and, you know, that kind of corresponding emotional change that you want. But then afterwards, it's about, well, how do I optimize the results now? And it's really hard to say if I do X, Y, and Z, my boobs will grow by 
how much. So, I mean, it's not an exact science. There's not a lot of causation to prove, to show. But, you know, just trial and error and be informed about how you are managing that process.